In this tutorial, we will demonstrate a cash book receipt entry from Excel to Sage 200 using Codis Accelerator. Cash book receipts are receipts that are not associated with a customer or supplier. Using our template, you can add single or multiple cash book receipts. In this example, we will add a single receipt. To begin, we log in. Your Windows credentials will be used automatically if you have Sage 200 version 2013 or later. First, we will select the bank account that we'll receive. We can do this by browsing Sage data directly from the template and selecting the account we want. Doing so will automatically populate the other bank detail fields. We will also add a check number, a transaction date, which we can also browse for, a second reference, and the transaction amount. We'll now add the nominal codes we require. Here we are adding four different nominal codes. We'll now enter the transaction dates. Enter the tax code. And the goods amount. Once we are done, we can click Validate to make sure the data adheres to Sage 200 rules. We can then click Save to Sage to upload this data directly to Sage. If we now go into Sage, you can see that the data has been saved. Here are the individual £25 receipts and the total goods amount of £100. Now, let's show you how to use the Spreadsheet Designer. To begin, select the Designer button. In the Designer, all standard Sage fields are available. We enter the number of rows we require. Then we select the fields we want to add. We'll add Bank Account Reference, Bank Account Description, Check Number, Transaction Date, Second Reference, Nominal Account Reference, Nominal Name, Tax Code, Tax Value, and finally, the Goods Amount. We can now close the designer. We're now going to browse for the data we want. In this example, we will add receipts to two different bank accounts. We input the check numbers, which are sequential, so we can copy down the data. We enter the transaction dates, second references, the nominal account reference, tax code, tax amount, and finally the goods amount. We click validate again. We can now save directly to Sage from our own custom-made template. If we go back into Sage, we can see that the receipts have been saved. Here you can see the amounts of £34, £46 and £58 that we had entered into the spreadsheet. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you'd like to get in touch, you can email us sales at codis.co.uk. To learn more about us, visit our website codis.co.uk.